Next up, we've got Wayne Jiang with eMobile Software, bringing up eMobile Today Professional Edition. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Wayne, Wayne Jiang. I'm from eMobile Software. Uh, first, I'd like to thank RIM and uh, BlackBerry Partner Fund for making this possible. It's uh, very exciting. Um, before we start, I'd like to give a quick uh, overview of our eMobile software. We are a mobile software development company. We work with the latest, uh, greatest devices, like uh, BlackBerry, iPhone, Android device, and such. Um, just uh, last month, we have been awarded um, 2009 BlackBerry Developer of the Year by Hand Angle. Today, I mean, I'd like to introduce, uh, a quick, give you a quick introduction of our flagship product, eMobile Today Professional. Here is an at a glance view of uh, eMobile Today Professional. Basically, you know, this application gives you an overview of what you care. Um, for example, your missed calls, your emails, your appointments and tasks, um, et cetera. But uh, there's more details under the surface. So let me quickly jump into a demo. For example, you know, you see from this interface, you have one missed calls. So if you want details, you press the trackball to go to, to find details. And uh, you'll be able to tell who this call is from and at what time. And by pressing the trackball, you can quickly call back, or you can send text message to that person, or you can dismiss it. Uh, contacts, by moving trackball, you can quickly go through the contact list. And if you want to find a contact particularly, you type the contact name. Again, you highlight the person's number. You can make a call. You can send text message, whatever. Highlight his uh, email address. You can send an email quickly from the screen. <laughs> Appointments. That's something we do, everyone likes. Um, from the screen, you can quickly tell you have four appointments for the day. Now, if you want details, press the trackball. You quickly, you can find you have, you know, three appointments passed to you, and the one coming up. And uh, by moving the trackball, you, you will be able to find the upcoming appointments. The next day, Wednesday, and Thursday. And uh, if you still want more, you can press trackball and view and choose view by week. And uh, view by month. All right. Um, tasks behave pretty much similar to appointments. Um, you quickly find out your you know, current task, upcoming task, and past due task. And uh, you can mark a task complete just by pressing the trackball. Emails. Emobile today captures the upcoming new emails and show it on today's screen. For details, you press the trackball and you can tell who this email is from and what's it about. And uh, you can open it. You can reply it. You can, if it's a meeting request, you can add it to your calendar. Um, eMobile today offers great customization. Um, you can change your themes background by just press a button. And that's changed. And you can add news, weather, and uh, stock contents to your today screen. Let me change. Uh, let's switch back to the presentation mode. All right. So that's the more screenshots, you know, blowing up. So in a nutshell, eMobile today offers uh, users um, great customization capabilities, and uh, it's intended to help users to do to make things easier. 
Uh, before I conclude, there's, um, next, let me introduce the next generation of eMobile today. It's a build from ground up. It offers much published uh, um, um, view. And uh, it offers a multifaceted views, uh, basically giving users more options to view their content they care. And you would be cut off. That's three people now hitting the mark, Wayne. OK. All right. Any big comments from the judges today? Let's go all the way down here to Kevin, see if he asked about the business model. No, so, so my question for you is, what's the business model here? <laughs> Very well done, Kevin. It is, it is sold as a standalone product. It's um, at $29.95. $29.95. Yep. Wow. Fantastic. Anything else? Joseph, comments? I just did the application a few days ago, and really, it's a, a big experience. Good. Anybody else? OK. Kevin's going to take a crack. So I, act, I know several individuals who, to quote, can't live without your app, which says a lot. $29.95 hurts a lot, though, these days in the app place. Um, it's a little like the, the concierge service, too, that was shown today. That was just a concept, Kevin. Just a concept. But the fact that I know so many people willing to pay $29.95 for an app still, uh, it says a lot for, for the application. The, only question is, so it, it, it's almost like a replacement theme for the device, but it runs as an app. Do most people run this as sort of their home screen? It's always an app in the well, foreground, or the the application will start automatically, so it uh, it behaves like it's today's screen, but it does not really replace BlackBerry home screen. Okay. Last question: Why was BlackBerry number two on your list of development platforms? <laughs> Great question, Kevin. And we'll close it off there. Thank you, Wayne.